everyone. It is Friday, October 2nd, and heading over to Llano, Texas to shoot a football game. I'm going a little early because I'm going to stop by Cooper's Barbecue and have some dinner before the game, so I'll probably get there quite a bit early, just an hour away. What a nice little ride. Cooled off this morning, so it's not extremely hot today. It'll cool off again tonight. I think it's only like supposed to be like 85 tops today. It's 82 now, but I just got the bike out of the garage, so it's probably a little probably hasn't heated up yet. Anyway, heading west. Let's see if I turn it back on when I pull into my favorite barbecue place, Cooper's Barbecue. Anyway. Later. Bye. Well, hello again. I, uh, I know I'm heading into the sun, but this is a kind of a pretty area. It gets all granite hills, which is really kind of pretty. I don't know if you can probably see it from this lake of the sun. But it made me think of something else. When you're on the highway, and I get it all the time, I don't mind people passing me because I'm probably going to go slower than they are. But when you have two lanes like this, and there's really no one behind you, you know, there's, uh, what I've noticed is people will move over maybe two car lengths ahead of me, and they'll just get back over into this lane, and they sandblast me. Uh, you know, since they're so close, I get road debris, and it's always like sand and all kinds of stuff. My, my legs get sand, but I have scabs on my legs from getting sandblasted and rocks from people, you know, turning a little bit too soon in in front of you. They should stay in their left lane for, you know, four or five, six car lengths so they don't sandblast you. And I am totally aware of that now since I started riding again about a year ago. So if I'm ever in a car and I'm passing motorcycles, I am not going to pull over and sandblast them like uh, a lot of people do and and I can understand it because they they kind of treat it like a car where you're you know just move back in front of them but you know you think about people on motorcycles you actually do sandblast them uh you know I get it in the face and and on the windshield and my legs and I got my legs out I always get it on the legs but anyway I just thought I'd mention that I don't like heading into the sun until the sun starts to set, but I'm going to be over there before it sets. This used to be a really cool rest stop right here with the granite steps and the granite there, and they closed it off once it got to be a whole lot of traffic in this area. Anyway, I'll turn it off because there's so much sun. It's just probably pretty ugly. Bye. Actually, I got a... I don't know why I'm talking about it here, but I gotta I think if you if you remember listening or watching my videos before when I talked about how I met my wife, uh, the buddy of mine that was with me, that we hung out together all the time, and and he was with me at the time, and we were right. But anyway, my wife came home today and told me she got a text from my sister-in-law, which still lives in Illinois. Anyway, this buddy of mine lives in College Station, just two hours away. But anyway, we found out today that uh, he lost his oldest son. He's only 31 years old. And when I went and stayed with him for a couple of weeks to look for a job in 1985, he was just two years old, and he was the cutest little thing. And I remember grabbing him out of his crib in the mornings when I was there because he was holding his arms out. And I don't know what happened. He was just uh, 31. And, uh, you know, I just can't imagine the pain that that is when you lose a child. I have two boys, 26 and 23, and I can't imagine losing either one of them. So, you know, my heart goes out to him. You know, he was a childhood friend and haven't seen him in a few years, but... I just can't imagine, uh, you know, what he's going through. 
So anyway, I don't know why I brought that up, but just thinking about it, and my wife just told me, and I can't get it out of my mind. It's kind of, kind of a makes your doesn't make your day. So anyway, bye. Well, hello there again. I made it to Lano, Texas. I'm like an hour and a half before game time, so I'm going to have some barbecue. And there's my Coopers right up here. This place is so good. If you haven't had real Texas barbecue, this is probably one of the most, one of the best places. I've actually been in here in line before. And, ooh, and I've talked to people that flew here just to get this barbecue. There's probably a local airport here in town where they actually flew in and uh, to get their get their barbecue fix. So anyway, this is it. There's all the smoking vats and everything over there. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.